Hi there, welcome to WP Expo. Today I will show you how you can create a product search results page template for your WooCommerce store, and it will replace the default search results page of your store. For that, I will be using the WooCommerce Builder add-on of Product X. It is the best WooCommerce builder based on Gutenberg, so that you can dynamically redesign all pages of your WooCommerce store without compromising the loading time. So without further ado, let's start creating a search results page template. But before going into that, make sure you have the ProductX plugin installed on your site. After properly installing the ProductX plugin, go to the add-on section and make sure that the WooCommerce Builder add-on is turned on. Now go to the Builder section. Here you can see all available options. For now, let's click on Product Search. Now you can see two options. Either we can start from scratch or with the pre-made template. First of all, I will start with the pre-made template. Later, I will also show the process of starting from scratch, so please watch the full video for a better understanding. To use the pre-made template, we have to click on the import button. Here, you can see that the products are displayed in a grid layout. The template also contains Ajax filtering options and pagination, so that the shoppers can explore more products. The template is built with three blocks, the archive title block, a product grid block, and a filter block. You can customize all of the blocks individually. To customize any of the blocks just click on it, and you will see the customization options on the right side. Let's see some of the most useful customization options at a glance. For the archive title block, we can start with choosing the desired heading tag, then choose our desired text color, typography, and adjust the padding. Moreover, we can disable or enable the prefix. Once you enable it, click on the drop-down to see the available customization options. Here, we can add our desired prefix text, which the shoppers will see while searching for their desired products. And, the archive title is a dummy text. This text will be replaced with the search query. I am skipping the product filter block because we have a dedicated video for that, which you should watch for better understanding. The video link will be in the description. Now let's see some of the customization options for the product grid block. First of all, you will get some pre-made layouts of the product grid block. Then, you can change between grid and slide view. Moreover, you can increase or decrease the number of columns and adjust the gaps between columns and rows. Furthermore, you can decide which elements should be displayed and which should not. And, you can also sort the position. The customizations don't end here. You can change each of the elements of the product grid block separately. For example, if you want to highlight the on-sale products, just click on the Enable button. Once you enable it, just click on the drop-down button, and you will see so many customization options, including changing on-sale text, text position, colors, and so many more. Similarly, you will get so many customization options for all of the elements. Now, let's see the customization option for product pagination. First of all, you can choose between two types of pagination, which are load more and numeric paginations. Then, you can change the pagination text, position, and colors. After you are done with all customization according to your need, just click on the publish button. That's all, your product search results template is ready. Now, let's see how it looks at the front end. Here, you can see that the products are displaying according to the template that we have just created. Now, let's see how we can create a search results page template from scratch. For that, click on start from scratch instead of importing the template. Here, we can see that the template is empty and we have to fill it up with the required blocks. At first, let's add the archive title block and change the prefix text. Now, I am adding a column block as I want to display the filtering option on the left side and products on the right side. At last, we need to add the product filter and a product displaying block. For now, I am adding the product grid block one. However, you can add any of the available product grid or product list blocks. 
That's all. Now we can customize all of the blocks as per our requirements and publish the template. So that's all from today's video. You can learn more about creating and customizing the product search results page template from the blog post. The link will be in the description. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video.